I've been fortunate enough today to receive a new driver, the Rogue ST Max LS. The idea of this driver is going to take a little bit of spin off the ball. That's the reason that I ordered it, and I can't really wait to get out there and test it. I've been using the uh, Epic Speed now uh, for a good time, and I love it. Um, so the only reason that I would actually move to the Rogue is if I am getting better spin rates. And this is something I definitely recommend to you. Just get a reason that you want to change and don't do it just because you think the newest driver has got to be the best driver. Testing the clubs is absolutely imperative before you buy. Um, but for me, obviously, it's a different kettle of fish because I can put the exact identical shaft and grip onto the, onto the club head and that way I know that basically I'm going to get the club head back onto the golf ball the way I want it. The question is just, is it doing what it says on the packet? And looking at that ball flight, yes it is. Spin is a strange thing. Spin is basically the thing which is helping the ball to fly. When you hit a golf ball with any kind of loft and speed, irrespective of the attack angle, it's gonna spin. You can increase the attack angle and increase the spin and you can reduce the attack angle. That means hitting it in the upswing and you can reduce the spin. But if you don't wanna mess around with your golf swing, you are gonna to have to change the head because the head can actually influence the spin on the golf ball and it does this by moving the weight forward towards the face. Now obviously as everything in life this is, does not only have advantages. By moving the weight towards the face you are decreasing the moment of inertia or the amount that the golf club has the stability that the golf club has at impact. That means that this club is a little bit less stable than my old club. But if I hit it out of the center of the club face, that shouldn't really matter very much. And I can see immediately that the ball flight is a little bit flatter. When a golf ball flies, it rotates backwards which accelerates the, the air passing over the ball and breaks the air passing under the ball. This increases the air pressure under the golf ball and creates lift, a little bit like the wing of an aeroplane. So what I would expect to see here is a slightly flatter ball flight with the same kind of launch characteristics as I had on my old driver because I got exactly the same loft, exactly the same shaft. So I would expect them to launch virtually the same. However, in their further flight, I will expect the golf ball to stay a little bit lower uh, with the Rogue than it did with the, with the Epic Speed that I was using before. Obviously, I can check this by getting the Trapman out and looking at the numbers on the Trapman. Now that one I can't trust because that was a bit of a toe hit. I can feel that and that will change the spin on the golf ball without my needing the Trapman. So it's very important that you get a kind of a feeling which ones did you actually hit out of the middle. If you're using a Trapman or GC Quad or something of that nature, it will actually tell you which are centre hit balls and they're the ones really you want to be comparing with one another. And I can actually see there's a nice little cloud out there and I can see that this, the Epic is just kind of brushing the bottom of the cloud as it goes through the air. I suppose I'm probably exaggerating there, it's not actually brushing the top bottom, but it looks like that for me. Ah, 
That was just a terrible swing. Obviously, don't measure your terrible swings. Golf club can't do anything about that. Yeah. And that's flying maybe five or 10 yards lower in the apex than the other golf club. Once I actually have a look at that, I wanna go into the numbers and see what the numbers are telling me. Obviously, the idea of getting a flatter ball flight for me is to be able to play a little bit better in windy conditions and also get a little bit more roll on the ball once it actually comes down and lands. Not the youngest, and getting a little bit less spin on the golf ball will actually help me to get a little bit more distance. That's what I'm after. But these are the kind of things that you want to be looking at. And these are things that the industry is now able to provide for you. I think majority of manufacturers have all got a low spinning club. But don't forget that low spin will also mean less forgiveness. Usually as well, the club manufacturers are making smaller heads combined with low spin. Once you're getting there, you're losing the forgiveness almost totally. So try and stay to a manufacturer which is helping you as much as possible, giving you a pretty big head, if not the same kind of shape of head as they're using like Callaway do with the ST Max. And just doing the internals or moving the internals of the golf club in order to reduce spin. But if you change the spin characteristics of your golf club, you will actually find you'll get a different ball flight and eventually you might be able to find some more distance there just by changing the spin on your golf ball. And that means it might well be worth getting a new driver this season. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, please do so. Um, I would like to make a big, big, big thank you to all of the patrons who look after me monthly. If you would like to become a patron, I'll leave a link below. Until then, bye-bye.